Let me just give you guys a breakdown and show you guys this basic skate plaza that you can make without using any merge glitch or any DLC. What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am. Today, I built a new skate plaza and the funny story about this is that I literally recorded an entire tutorial on how to make this park even if you were an average park builder or you've never even played the game and the audio levels were so bad on it that I just was like okay I have to re-record this and maybe I'll just do a breakdown or something like that so I, I'm, I was a little bit bummed about that it was like a long it would have been a great video but that's totally okay because then I can explain it better it'll be a little bit more to the point and and yeah, I think it'll just be better in the long run. So from the looks of it, this is a very basic skate park. We really have, well, there's not even a stair set. It's a lot of just pads and rails and a lot of ledges. And that's really all that there is to it. But I think that what makes this park actually really fun, it's nice and open. It's really easy to skate. And if you're, especially if you're on hardcore, this is an ideal park for you. If you guys are more on the easy or uh, I would say it's more for easy people that, that ride on that difficulty. This isn't the part that you're looking for. Definitely if you're in hardcore, it's really fun. And especially the fact that, again, the nice part about it is that it's so open and that you can throw any prop or anything that you want to do and uh, modify it to whatever you want to do in this park. I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown of how I built it and explain what I did and why I chose to do it. So I did build this park on the Xbox One, which has no merge glitch. Now, what some people uh, get twisted is that there's the thing between collision and merge glitch. Now, merge glitch essentially allows you, I can choose these three objects and see how right now I can only do max three objects into each other. With merge glitch, I can do unlimited amount. That's why you can do a ton of detail and do essentially whatever you want. Now, I have this thing called collision. On, you can turn it on and off so you can merge multiple objects into each other. You are still limited, but you are able to merge stuff into each other. Now, I think on the DLC, not the DLC, the downloaded version of Skate 3, you aren't able to do this. I don't know why that is, and I could be wrong, but I think that's why a lot of people get confused with that. So I guess to break down uh, the park, so what I did is I chose a three by two pads. I raised them up a little bit, and I, I literally made them a curb height, and then on the outside, I essentially outlined it with these. These are part of the plaza. They're just the big stairs, but they're countersunk into the ground to make it just look like a curb. It looks a little bit nicer. It's kind of like faking effort into a park. Like if I didn't have this, let's just see what it looks like. It looks fine, but it makes it a little bit bigger. You have the rounded edges. It just looks a lot nicer. And I could have even done a thinner, um, shorter one, but I just was, you know, whatever. I just left it the way it is. And then on the ground, it's simply just a normal pad. Now, for those who have never built a park before, why, you might be saying, why is the park floating? The reason why I build my parks floating is so, let's just say I wanna use the top of this stair for a ledge. Now, normally I can place this in right here. Let's turn collision off. So I can place the ledge right there if I wanna skate that. Now, if I want to merge this in the ground, if you guys can see, I can only do it halfway. And um, I want to, you, you're very limited on what you can do. And also the, the texture of the ground is going to, you can't change that. So that's why the park is technically floating. I've seen that a couple comments that talk about that. It's totally okay. So for the actual plaza, I don't know exact length of it. Let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So it's like 11 by four. Yeah, it's an 11 by four size. So it's actually quite a decent sized park. It's not super big, but it's not super small and that is what the ground looks like so we put these plaza ledges kind of around here and then on this side we just use the normal we turned snapping on collision on just turned on the uh this is the smallest setting for the ramp put that on the ground so then you kind of have some flow you don't have to ollie up it and that's pretty that's pretty basic for this ledge super easy you just turn the wide ledge over and just slowly countersinking the ground to the height that you would like. Rails, super easy, just a round rail. You double it up and then you countersink it in. Now you might have a problem. See how I can't put this in right here. So what you do is that you raise it up and find the location that you want this rail. So I'm gonna just, we'll act like this piece is right here. So we have one rail right here. What you're gonna wanna do is select it and then do the exact same thing, put it underneath it. And what you're gonna do is that these things, rails and ledges act, for whatever reason, act independent of what the collision allows. So I can add multiple objects into each other. So we'll turn collision on, 
and we'll grab this and sink it in the ground. And that means you can't, the only thing you can't merge this also into is if you wanna put a ledge in there or if you wanna put some grass underneath it. It's really specific. I know it's like an unwritten rule in the game. I don't know why they made it like that, but that's just the way that is. This is just a simple ledge. I mean, I used the plaza stairs just because I wanted to have, a, a, again, I wanted to make it so they had the, you know, this grinding texture right here. That's essentially why I did that. You could use anything, but this is kind of going up against, and so normally if I had DLC, I would use the half width pad. Uh, this is just a normal rail. Now this is a very easy thing to make and it looks really cool. So this is the waterfront ledge, I believe. Um, yeah, the, no, not the waterfront ledge, just the floating bench. Now what you wanna do for this, you grab it and you're gonna place this independent up in the air, do the wide ledge, and see how it's covering up the uh, texture underneath it. That's how you're able to make it so it looks uh, like the way it is. So we're gonna undo that. So and undo it one more time. And we have that. This is just a steep ledge. I just put this on the side right here. Um, so you can kind of go around it and you can try to skate up here. Um, these are just some floating benches These are, are ledges. I mean, they're really easy to make. You just turn it, to, these are these to the factory setting. So these are what it looked like on the city. Uh, park is obviously wood factory. It's like this concrete. It looks really cool. Very California skate park ish. And then for this section, this is just like a pyramid. I, I was just like, you need something in the middle. I wanted so you can hit on all sides. This is just a quarter pipe flipped over to the side. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this coping that it has. And a lot of objects have that. So that's why I sink it into the ground. Um, not saying it looks bad. I just, I personally don't like it. It ruins the aesthetic of the park. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, these are much more floating ledges. I used a prop right here. This is a good example where I could have added like a quarter pipe, but um, in terms of like a concrete one, but the prop fit perfect because it was small. It was easy, didn't take up any terrain. And um, this section over here, I don't really make these uh, usually that often, but it turned out really good. Uh, this hip and so this is just actually the uh, medium sized for the ramp So these are just like half sunk into the ground to like a smaller size So it's not as gigantic and then this is just again you use the hip inverted hip right here So then you can kind of skate over to the side of it or whatever kind of continues the flow of the park And then I just threw a plaza ledge right here And then you can skate that you know coming up from this way grind onto that and this is just a quarter pipe counter sunk in doesn't skate too well but i just like the way it looks and i mean it does it does skate it's not perfect but it, it gets the job done so again that's pretty much the entire park there's not really much to it again this is more like a building block of like okay this is what you can do if you want to build a plaza you just need something basic and it shows you that you don't need you really don't need merch i think to make a, a really uh, great looking park and I think a big part of that, and I'm sorry, we're gonna go out of skating just for a little bit more and then I will be skating the park. So if you guys can notice, there's actually three colors in this park. Now it's actually, these. this is actually technically an off-white. So this is what the white normally looks like. That's what the white looks like. Just by simply changing it to the off-white for the base ground makes it look a lot nicer. And I mean, again, this is where you get into like colors and all the color theory, trust me. It's just park making, but it, it definitely does help. And I decided, you know, I wanted to have an accent color. So I chose this kind of like brownish red, like it's it, it's a really like net, like earth tone kind of thing. I don't know, like it, I did that for only a certain amount of objects. And so if you notice that like the flat ground is, um, and up here is the off white. These are actually still white, which I don't mind because it, again, it's a different color. You can tell the difference like right here. And then you have these, you know, accent with the earth tone, you know, like the brown red, and it just makes it look like it's like well put together. And now if you had everything the same color, totally okay. But it just, again, it gives it that little, literally just changing the color just a little bit added that little extra flair and made the park feel a little bit more complete. And um, I, will, I won't go over it too much, but the surrounding area, I mean, again, it's just grass, but you wanna like spam it and make it not look like you just did the exact same thing. Um, and I've seen this done and I've done it a couple times. I've been guilty of it where people just go like this. And let's just say that was like in the ground over there. Like, trust me, that looks, that does not look good. There's very few places where the foliage or trees look exactly the same. So you wanna rotate them. If you guys notice, I made them a little bit low so you can kind of see the surrounding city. I didn't wanna hide it too much here. I just added a fence and like a privacy wall. And if you notice, normally over here um, on this side, I would add like some type of, you know, 
foliage, I would add to this hedge, but I literally just used a fence rail and just kind of had it fall off because from this angle, it just kind of looks like, you know, the city, you know, you don't have to worry about it too much, but just taking an extra 15 minutes to act, build up the surrounding area and try to make it look as nice as possible, uh, I think really does help your park and it makes it look a lot nicer, even if it might not be the best flow or whatever it may be, but it's definitely, I, I, I personally recommend making sure that you just take a little extra time and changing the colors a little bit and make sure everything's not exactly the same if you notice now you could say oh well this is the same like uh hedge right here and i kind of did that on purpose but they are technically i did move them there are different heights and um again this is the only part that i would say where it kind of looks the same but i trust me there are different colors they really don't look like it though from now that i'm looking at it but they are you can kind of look into it and um but yeah, that's like a basic plaza right there. And it was actually, it's a pretty fun park. I've actually had some time to skate it when I wasn't filming a video. And again, it's just a basic thing to throw around. And so if you're new to park making or you're just have no idea and need an inspiration, definitely recommend maybe trying to make something like this. And obviously there's so many ways you can improve this park too. It's not perfect by any means, but I hope that you're able to get some inspiration from, from this park. And maybe I'm, I'm not saying I have the best park maker in the world, but again, I'm just trying to create like something where you can uh, get, again, just a little inspiration. I know I feel like I'm being and repeating myself but i don't want it to come off the wrong uh wrong way so uh like i said i built this park more for hardcore skating Ooh, and then we get that little willy but i love adding at least like one quarter pipe because it just easily helps with the flow and so my favorite part is that you can kind of you know do a trick up here kick flip to like a manual and then go into like you know just a grind right there very simple nothing too complex but sometimes you know you just simple parks that's all you really need you just need something that you can skate and go back and forth it does feel a little bit empty here um i don't know if that's props or if i need to add something else but um yeah i think i think props definitely help but i also like how open it is but at the same time though again since i don't have the merge glitch it's really hard to fill stuff in so I don't know, I'd have to figure something out. I could have, one thing I realized I could have changed it with the ground is maybe add like a stripe to it where, I don't know. But then again, that looks a little bit kind of, a little wonky. I don't know, like maybe if I had like a stripe on each side or where it was like evenly distributed, it would look a little bit nicer. But um, I'm glad, especially this long ledge is actually really fun. If you can get the speed to kind of skate the whole thing, uh, that makes it really helpful. And um, I know I mentioned the props, but definitely just, just throwing around some props really does help out. It fills in um, where a park might feel empty, you throw some props in and all of a sudden it makes it, it gives it that extra li like life to the park. And I know some people might can overlook that when they're building is that they worry about making the park look perfect in the terms of like the skating part of the park. They don't give a crap about the surrounding area and they don't give a crap about the props. It's like, it's almost, you kind of need, the park is 80% of it, but like the 20% is the surroundings part and the next, or the 10% is surrounding part and the next 10%, 10% is the uh, props. Without that, those, it feels like it's, again, it doesn't feel like it's super complete. So it's definitely worth taking the time to fix it and uh, pouring the time into creating it. So if you guys uh, do end up making a park similar to this or just uh, any, any of your parks, make sure to send them to me on Instagram at I'm Christian Owens. Um, I'd love to check them out or just post them and tag me in it. Um, that's the, probably the best way for me to see your guys' uh, creations. So I think that's going to do it for this video. So um, I know it's a little bit different style than my other videos in terms of showing guys how to build a park. This is more um, anod uh, like annotated version of it. But if you guys want me to continue to do more annotated versions of park builds, let me know. Or if you want me to do the whole process of me explaining it, um, just let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. And also let me know what you guys want me to build next for a tutorial. And um, cause I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, like I said, I wanted to do a more plaza cause I haven't done that. If you guys want me to do, I, I mean, I don't know. Like uh, let me know in the comments. I know I'm, I'm saying that a ton of times, but I'm just really excited about uh, the future and I'm excited to see what you guys um, are building. So if, if this helped you out or if you guys, and I don't know, I don't know what else I'm saying right now. I'm kind of, I'm going on rambling, but if you guys have anything else, um, 
I don't want to say, I don't know, say in the comments. I'm not sure. I'm being, all of a sudden, I'm going on a tangent. I don't mean to, but I'm trying to wrap up this video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button. And if any, anyways, my name is Chris. I'll see you all again soon after I get this final trick. And we got it. Take it easy, guys.